Hey there, this is Maria from Ambition Ally, and today I'm going to show you how to create a searchable member directory on WordPress using the Access Ally plugin created by Ambition Ally. Now, your member directory is going to end up looking a little something like this, where you have the user's profile image and their name as well in the search results. The search option is located up here and it will search the first or last name of the members within your site. So let's just go Natalie. Hit enter and yes, she comes up as a result. The great thing about this searchable member directory is that it's actually super easy to create when you're using the Access Ally plugin and I'll show you how. Now the first thing you want to do is create a profile page. Um, all you need to do is create a page within your membership site and then add some Access Ally shortcodes that allows the users to upload their profile image. You can update your name, first name, last name, as well as a bio if you want. And the information that they put here will show up in the search results. Once your profile page is all created, we will create the directory itself. So to do that, let's head into the back side of the website. Here in the dashboard of your WordPress site, head down to the Access Ally settings and we'll go up to User Directory and we'll click on that. Here is where we will create the directory itself. And as you remember from our directory example, we had two filters, a basic user and a premium user. So inside the settings, we have set up two filters, basic user and premium user. Whatever you call these filters are, will determine how it shows up in the directory itself. Now looking at the settings, the filters work because of the permission tags used in your membership site and CRM system. So we have sort of conditional content. You can choose for people to appear as a basic user if they have tags or if they're lacking certain tags. Um, so sort of the sky is the limit when it comes to deciding who shows up under each of your filters. Once you have your filters created, you can save the changes and head into directories. This is where we compile the directory itself based on the filters you created in the previous step. Now, the title of the directory is purely for your use only, and you can create multiple directories, so make sure the title is descriptive enough so you'll know which is which in the back end. Here we have some preset design code that comes standard with Access Ally, so if you're not a coder, don't worry about this. You have the amount of users that you'd like to show on each page of the results and we'll leave it at six. Finally, we'll add in those filters that we created in the previous step. Um, here we already have them added and we can delete them if we want. Um, but otherwise, if you wanted to add a filter, just go to this drop down, and it will show you any filter that you've created. Select the one that you want, then hit add a filter. Then once you've created your whole directory, hit save changes. So what we'll want to do is create a new page on the website. We'll just call this page Member Directory. In the content, all you have to do is find your Access Ally shortcode adder here. And we'll select the feature that we want to add to our page. In our case, it's all the way down at the bottom, the user directory. And we'll insert the shortcode. Let's see what this looks like. And there you have it. Your searchable member directory is all set up and ready to go. It's as easy as playing with a couple of settings and then adding the shortcode to your page. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to create a searchable member directory on WordPress. And be sure to check out the Access Ally plugin that makes this all possible.